You said you wanted to talk. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No idea what I was going to say. Been distracted, thinking about home. You never told me where you come from. Red dirt ball of a planet way out near the unknown regions. Life was miserable on Rat Attack. Backwards people living in caves, big on tribal blood feuds. Almost got stoned to death when I was 12. That's when I knew I had to get out. You're going to have to explain that. When you say stoned... Rocks, fist size thrown at me. My dad was from a cursed family, which is basically tribal propaganda for we want your land. Some great-grandfather of mine was a warlord. Conquer a few tribes and you're a cannibal demon of the summit. How did your father and the others handle it? Kept their pride. Hid the loot. Not that I got anything. Or I might have stuck around. I hitched a ride on a spice trafficker ship. Figured the big, civilized galaxy would have a place for me. I thought I was gonna get accepted. I had to get tough. You don't have to be tough. I'm here for you. Anything you need. Can you stop for one minute? I try to tell you something and you're all over me. Just forget I said anything. You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Gun overheated in the last fight. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? It was part of my training. I can show you exercises if you like. Yeah, I like getting off more than around a minute. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and Am Spichel hooked up on a tramp freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. You said her name was Anne Spichel. Twi'lek name. Think they say it easier. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? With one holdout blaster, the odds weren't in your favor. Best we can figure. I torch the place while Ampsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop him. Prove our exchange material. They bought it. What happened to the man you framed? Oh. Ampsby shot him so he couldn't rat us out. She was fun. If we ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the sentry. Agent, we need to talk. I just heard from headquarters. Keeper finally came through on a promise he made when I joined up. Keeper is contacting you instead of me now. Some watcher sent the message. Not really the point. I asked you guys to find Anne Spichel, old friend of mine. I told you about her. We hooked up after I left Rat Attack. Last time I saw her, she saved my life and got me to Hada. I owe her big. Now she's in trouble. What sort of trouble? She crossed some exchange buddies on Narshada. Report didn't give details, but I can guess how it went down. I'm gonna head over, kill the exchange, and save the girl. You should come with. Say I help you, help your friend. Do we celebrate after? Oh yeah. I've even got a surprise plan for us. You're gonna like it.
I've just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a point of You ever been to Narshada? I can show you the cantinas, get you into the best fights, tour the organ markets. It'll be fun. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
All right, make me look good. This could hurt. going down. Get away! I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one! Are you Vjord Yarnall? You know who I am. You wouldn't be here otherwise. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic, the Macrosa Order, the Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I think I'm doing the wrong bloody quest now. How the Fuck did that happen? I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Jorid? Ah! The idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. What kind of contingency plans? I don't know what he arranged, but Jadis would never let his death go unpunished. I won't be caught in the Master's schemes ever again! <coughs> Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. I'm not giving him to Jared. Works for me. You can tell Zorid he slipped and fell down the stairs.
not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. the other one then. Those two ain't bloody working. <laughs> Can we get to the right place now? Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Rise and shine. <laughs> I think that's most of the gang. Hey, Ansby, get out here. You're rescuing me? What, am I your princess? If you were a princess, <laughs> you might be worth something. Shut up and toss me a gun. Who's your friend? I stole Kaleo from Nemro the Hut. We've been together ever since. Namro, huh? How long were you with him? Long enough. You guys timed it good. By the way, they were gonna hang me to broil on a holocine. You got a way off world? Grab your stuff and meet us at the spaceport. I can get you a ride. Your friend's gorgeous. She doesn't compare to you. Of course not. Now, remember I said I had a surprise? There's a bounty on Anspichel. We saved her, we own her, now we're gonna sell her. We came here to rescue her. You told me she saved your life. She did. You wanna know how? She stuffed me in a box and shipped me to Hutta. I spent 12 weeks in muck working for a chem farmer. She humiliated me. I owe her for that, too. Your friend. Your call. We'll meet her at the spaceport. Always knew I liked you. And I promise, the money's gonna be good. Those huts are ruthless. The things I hear they do to the Evokai. All true. Still. Hey, you made it all right. Yeah. Ran into one of Zenjo's guys. Left him a scar, but he's still breathing. So a ride sounds good right now. Give me 20 minutes, I'll set you up. Keep her company. I'll be back soon. I really do appreciate the help, but... Can I ask you something? Ask anything you want. Okay, this will sound odd, but what did Kaleo say about us? She tell you we've known each other for years, met after she left her home world. Big long sob story. You're telling me it's not true. She's a habitual liar. I knew her for six months, and she'd been on her own forever. I don't even know where she's really from. 
So I have to wonder, is she really here to help? Or am I in even worse trouble? Kaleo owed you her life. She's here to repay, that's all. Right. Guess we just wait then. Look who's back. This the girl? You set me up. You set me up! Poor baby. I survived Hutta when you sent me there. If you can't take what this man put you through, you get what you deserve. You can still let her go. Is this really what you want? Yeah. I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you! You play along pretty good. Here's your cut of the profits. Turns out she's worth a bundle. According to her, you two only met in the last year. Can we talk about this later? We've got spending money. That makes it time to celebrate. I am truly honored to serve such a personage as you, Master. History will remember your name. Not mine, but definitely yours. Shut up or I'll turn you into a bloody cannon. Well, that didn't last. Cash from Anspichel is gone. Cheapskate bounty hunter. You and Anspie talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? She said you were a habitual liar and that you'd only met in the past year. You're still on about that? You're funny. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro. Guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. How do you think you measure up? You're really comparing me to your former partners. Don't be like that. Just figuring why, with all the nasty, smart, rich people I've been with, I ended up with you. We all need a break from the high life sometimes. I'm just joking, Agent. Joking. Get used to it. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care.
I hope you're not speaking ill of our new lord. Certainly not, and I'll thank you not to suggest it. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old... This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
Yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Cypher 9, your superior and I were just chatting. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine, Agent. I'll... Speak to me, not to him. He wouldn't be here if not for your lack of respect. You see, in our last conversation, you said... something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you killed, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. What do you plan to do to him? I don't know. I'm starting to get bored. Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. I'm so sorry about this, sir. I'll be fine. I have Colto sprays in my office. Be careful. So, Fjord Yenol, did you find my dear father's advisor? Was everything as I said? Your information was good. But there was an accident. You mean to say you failed me? I give you the chance of a lifetime. The chance to serve a member of the Dark Council. And you fail? Completely and utterly? How dare you, Cypher? Yanol knew my father's secrets. He was to lift me above my rivals. I did everything I could. If that's not good enough for you. Oh, you sorry, pathetic creature. Perhaps it was an impossible task. If I couldn't secure my father's secrets, it's no surprise you couldn't either. I shall stand alone against the Dark Council. Force them to respect me, listen to me. Even without Jadis's wisdom. I'm certain you have what it takes to impress them. I do not need your certainty. You disappointed me today, Cypher, but you also taught me something. Because of that, I forgive you. Do not fail ever again. Destination. Enjoy your stay.
This is going to be the worst spaceport. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantled the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. How are they responding exactly? Increased chatter, transfer of goods, activation of safe houses. Fascinating, really. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Listen to his voice. He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. I'm going to old room first. Hey, Agent. Take a look at this. Where is she? I, I don't know. How would I know? Khalil Janus and her Twi'lek associate were seen attacking exchange resources on Nar Shaddaa. Should I believe you wouldn't seek revenge? I want her last known location, and I want it now! I love it. Listen to that little tremor in his voice. He's adorable. He does say your name with fondness. Ijal and I go way back. As soon as I show my face, he starts torturing people to track me down. He's been obsessed ever since we split up on Farstein. For an arms dealer, he's kind of sweet. Makes me feel wanted. Where did that hollow vid even come from? Hey, you've got plenty of sources. I've got a few too. And one's close to each other. Of course, if he finds me, he might be dangerous. I might need someone to protect me from the bad, nasty man. 
But against the two of us, I doubt he'll pose much threat. Aren't you confident? I'll keep you in the loop. Next recording gets out, we can watch it together. Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-room outposts. You're on a six-second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one. Synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. I didn't come all this way to admire the scenery. No, you didn't. And we have more important things to discuss. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. What sort of financing are we talking about? Money for weapons, transportation, bribes, anything the cells need. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. But intelligence does have one asset, Vector Hillas. Vector was an Imperial ambassador to the nobles, but he was later repurposed. Now he's with the Kilix, Alderaan's native alien species. I'm not familiar with them. What's their story? The Kilix are an insectoid species that evolved on Alderaan. Most of the nests migrated into space millennia ago, but a few remain planet-side. When Vector approached the Kilix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. How's that possible? Prolonged exposure to the Kilix induces physiological changes. He shares thoughts, feelings with them, but we don't know much more. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watch the two out. Bye. 